sunny skies and a cool breeze was a nice surprise Sunday morning for wine glass runners. More than 6,000 people hit the ground running for both the half and full marathon. Heading from either Bath or Camp Bell through Sioux Bend County and all the way to Market Street and Corning. People lined the street to welcome runners to the finish line. Molly Nunn won the women's full marathon. After coming back from an injury, she says the win was a big happy surprise. And a familiar face was the first to cross the finish line for the men's full marathon. Last year's winner, Brian Morseman. Today marks my 50th marathon, um, my third win here and my 30th win overall. So I'm very happy to do it here basically in my hometown. So I was actually in tears um, about coming around the corner there because when you hit the bridge, you know that the end is near. And so it just, it, it was such a, a reward to know that like I, I can run again without pain. City New York. Many runners lace up their shoes for a cause. Morseman says he runs in honor of his son Liam, who has spina bifida. And the Wine Glass Marathon likes to give back as well. Last year, they gave $100,000 back to organizations across the community. And the Wine Glass Marathon guest speaker met with one local organization this weekend. Colleen Kelly Alexander spoke throughout the Twin Tiers about her tragic incident four years ago. While biking home from work, she was run over by a multi-ton Freightliner. She received 78 blood transfusions and was in a coma for five weeks. She credits her doctors, emergency responders, and the American Red Cross with saving her life. She spent time thanking the local volunteers at the Corning and the Southern Finger Lakes chapter of the Red Cross.